Hey guys, I'm Brayden back with another video today. Um, and today we will be doing the draft needs for the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions and a couple other other random stuff. And I could not do a live stream sadly, so I'm just gonna put it on premiering now, which is basically live streaming. If you guys don't know, it's like uh you make the video and then you put it on like live but like it's not really live but then like there's still live comments and stuff and yeah before we get into it subscribe to pickle chin cards and fin cards all right so i am in my google docs all uh, right now and so um the vikings number one need is is defensive line there they have daniel hunter who is really good actually uh very underrated decently paid but still underpaid and um they they just don't have any solid uh solid players up there other than him daniel hunter and so i think that's why that they need to draft uh defensive linemen in the draft I think the draft will be the best uh, way for them to get one. Um, and if you guys were wondering who I'm going to take in the Super Bowl, it is, um, well, I have my Patrick Mahomes sign card right here. Um, I am a Tom Brady, well, I'm not really a Tom Brady fan, but I'm a Gronk fan. Uh, so I guess I kind of have to be a Tom Brady fan. And I like the Buccaneers team, although uh, Antonio Brown and uh, Tom Brady don't really deserve another ring. I think that the whole Buccaneers team does, other than them two. And that's why I'm picking them. And plus, I don't want this guy to catch up to Tom Brady. Because then we're going to have two Tom Brady's. It's kind of going to suck. And at number two, this is was a difficult one. So, quarterback is good. Running back is good. Uh, O-line is decent. Um, wide receivers, really good receiving core, actually. Um, and then, but then the O-line, like I said, it was decent. They do have a hole, uh, and that hole has given up a lot of sacks this year. It's like, to these two guys, I don't remember both their names. But since I don't remember both their names, I'm not going to say it. And I don't know how to pronounce one of them. Um, so, yeah. They have given up, like, so many double-digit sacks in the first eight games. That's more than a sack a game. It's kind of sad for them, to be honest. And, yeah. All right. So, uh, that's basically it for the O-line. Now for the D-line. Uh or sorry, I, never mind. Forget about the D line. Now for number three, uh, defense is actually strong. Uh, other than the D line, they do have a good secondary. Um, linebacker core is pretty good, I'd say, but the cornerbacks is a weakness. They do need to draft a quarterback. I don't or cornerback. I don't know what they draft this year, so I'm gonna look it up. Uh, Viking twenty. 21 draft pick okay draft picks i think that they have a first round am i right oh they pick 14th overall so that definitely gives them a, a way for them to potentially get a star uh corner to help their defensive team out and that's uh, big strength for this team. Um, before we move on to the Lions, and as I am pulling up the Google Docs, uh, what content do you think I should do more of, guys? You should be able to comment down below of what I should do more of. Um, help those people say that they like the bad card. I can try to do some more short, funny clips like that. Um, and yeah. Lions needs. Alright, there it is. Alright, guys. Loading into the Google Docs. Uh, 
Okay. Google Docs, we are in. All right, guys. So as we know, the Giants, or sorry, the Lions just got a killer trade for their quarterback, Matthew Stafford. And plus they got a decent one back in Jared Goff and good amount of first round picks. I think they got two and something else. All right, so at number one, I believe, where is that? Uh, oh yeah, so the receiving core uh, is young. They did draft uh, TJ Hawkerson. I do have a rated rookie of card of him. I really like that card. Uh, and I do really like him and then they all do have a young receiving core kind of and then they have strong uh running backs adrian peterson the old guy and then deandre swift and then their quarterback pretty good but there's a little bit of a problem with the o-line i think that they with one of their oh this is the number three by the way guys yeah uh so with their o-line they do have like one little hole on the outside uh, with the left tackle, and that's an issue. And I feel like in the second round, or if one falls to them, they could for sure draft one in the draft. If not, they could pick one up in free agency, or like they could trade for one, but that trading would be unlikely. Now, their other than that, their offense is actually really good. Just underrated, a little young receiving core and. Other than Adrian Peterson, DeAndre Swift, and the other running back is pretty young. And cornerbacks, Jeff Okuda, they drafted last year. Not bad. Uh, but I'd say like that was like a C- minus draft uh, pick because they that's number three overall. And they could have got someone way better that could have helped them out immediately. Uh, D line there for some reason I feel like the Lions pick up every uh, New England Patriot free agent. Is that kind of weird? You guys feel like that? I feel like that sometimes. And yeah, so at number two, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in cornerback again. I feel like this would be like a third round, third round uh, guy that they would pick. Uh, just because they drafted one last year and Jeff Akuda needs still needs to prove himself. But if they get another young guy, they're going to have a strong uh, cornerback cornerback duo for the next couple of years, which would be really helpful that, for that team with the with uh, young quarterback cornerbacks. Uh, D-line, really good, actually. Well, not really good. Decent. A little uh, underrated. Uh, linebacker core is not very good. Well, they have a decent linebacker in... I forgot his name, to be honest. I don't remember any of these guys' names. Um, uh, but they they just, they just they need some help at the linebacker position, and I'm going to see what they draft because I forgot to look this stuff up. Well, I forgot to look these two things up. Uh, what do the Lions pick at in 2021? I'm sorry, I did not write this stuff down, but uh, seventh, seventh, for sure can get a solid linebacker. Uh, I don't know the linebackers in the draft too well. I mainly stick to offense on seeing the top players, offense and then like some safeties and cornerbacks, and that's what I normally stick to. So, nor like Lions are in a pretty good location to get some good picks, in my opinion. And yeah, all right guys, so that would be it for this video. Uh, next part of the series will be the NFC East. And with, I think we'll do the Cowboys and Giants, and then we'll do the Eagles and the Red, or Redskins. Football team, same thing. Uh, I don't know why they've changed the name, that's kind of sad. Well, I do, it's because of all like they were they were saying it was, was illegal, but that was kind of sad that they had to change their name because of that. And uh, I'd like to shout out uh, Finn Cards again and Pickle Chin Cards. Go subscribe to them. Also subscribe to me. And until next time, see ya.